So I've just spent the day packing for the next eight months. I'm off to Italy tomorrow for the season. Again, even though I do this every year, it's still quite frustrating. I don't need so many clothes because I've been over there for 10 years and I own my own place and I've got a wardrobe full of clothes. So that's not really the difficult part, but just getting organized today, not so much the packing, but the time it takes to, to finish up here at home and tidy everything up. So this is the bag I'm gonna travel with. I haven't packed anything in it yet. It's got my iPad there, it's quite an old one. I'm thinking about leaving that here and upgrading when I get there, but I've got it laid out. Um, in the red folder is all my contracts. Back balls, which um, obviously to lay on and loosen the muscles in the back. My electronics bag, I take this everywhere. It's got some, uh, there, yeah, some old hotels in Italy still use the uh, cable instead of Wi-Fi. Um, an adapter, downloading cable, uh, uh, external drive that's got 500 movies on it, spare iPhone. And uh, that's about it. Um, my favorite DVDs in here, GoPro parts, some promo cards in case people back here in Australia want me to sign and send cards while I'm away. My business cards, both for rmgsport.com and my personal business cards. Some cables to run through the CRV when I pick it up in Venice tomorrow. So Honda always deliver a card to the airport for when I arrive, which is fantastic. So just got some cables to charge my iPhone and stuff in there. Some jewelry in case I happen to go out this season, um, hopefully just once or twice. And of course the tanning gel, one of the essentials. Uh, over here my hand luggage for the plane. Got a little bathroom bag, my phone charger, uh, my clothes laid out for tomorrow. A very casual outfit, very comfortable. A uh, warm jacket for when I get off. It's probably going to be minus something in Venice and then probably minus 15 at my place. Um, so my shoes and my casual clothes. I've always got a shirt like this in case I'm upgraded to business with my points. Uh, skins to travel with and a, and a spare t-shirt and a little bathroom bag in my hand luggage there and then for the clothes there's not much as you can see I've got my collection of Oakleys here uh, no doubt I'll uh, receive some more Oakleys throughout the year from the rep in Europe which would be very nice but um, I've got a great collection yesterday I went into Oakley and picked up some nice new stuff including the sports bras from Oakley Fantastic. I've got some new singlet um, training shirts from Nike. My pajamas over there. Um, some Australian swimmers. Just a few pairs of new socks. Um, for July, when it warms up, I'll uh, wear my new Nike skirt. I've got some training shorts for the gym. Another pair of shorts. A nice dress. I've got plenty of dresses over there, but I thought I'd take this um, new one. I really like it. Uh, one, one training outfit. It's probably not warm enough, that kit, but I've got some warm stuff over there. But I just thought for the first couple of days before I meet up with my team, I might need a kit. I can't remember what I've left over there from um, the last couple of years, but um, it's a more current kit anyway, so I'll take that. Got my big Honda jacket. Like I said, it's going to be freezing when I get there. It's a little bit of a change from the weather we've had. We've had beautiful weather here today in Sydney, which is quite rare. Um, so that's about it. That's all my packing for the day. I'm just going to relax tonight. I'll wait till the last minute to put it all in the bag. It's not really that much for eight months, is it? Hmm. So I'll keep you up to date throughout the season with some more posts, posts from the races. Uh, the first race is in a week's time. Uh, yeah, one, one week today, actually, which will be Het Newsblad in Belgium. And I'm uh, expecting to struggle with the, with the uh, cold when I get there, but uh, just be an acclimatisation race. So stay tuned.